Hello Hero, Joe Smith here again. Can you afford to pay a living wage? That's something uh, Joe Smith's been hearing a lot the last couple years. Can you afford to pay a living wage? Everyone, or well, almost everyone, everyone that's like under 30 anyways, uh, usually he mostly under 25, but at least under. But yeah, the younger, the more likely you are to hear it. Can you afford to pay a living wage? Asked uh, Joel Smith when they apply. Uh, well, yeah, jo Joel Smith can afford to pay seven twenty-five an hour. Because that's a federal government living wage for 2020. Seven twenty-five an hour, the federal government has said is the living wage. Now, some states may have a higher living wage than that. But, oh, depending on if you're, how many employees your business has and and if your business uh, only does sales or service inside your state's borders and never crosses lines, like never crosses state lines to do a job or never ships anything out of state, then you may be exempt from the federal living wage. And also, it's just kind of depending on your number of employees and uh, your amount of revenue, you may also be exempt from the state living wage. Uh, I think it's like California, Oregon, and Washington have like a $15 an hour living wage. Um, so, depending on where you're at, it ranges from seven twenty-five an hour to $15 an hour for a living wage. So yeah, uh, pretty sure most companies, uh, especially if they're posting an ad, if they're in business and they're posting an ad to hire employees, then they can afford to pay a living wage. Otherwise, they probably would not be posting the ad looking to hire an employee. Because they're mandated by the state to pay that minimum living wage. And in case you haven't caught on yet, the minimum wage is the living wage. So, don't know what all these little kids are talking about, but yeah, this is what the federal government or the states have determined is the minimum amount you need to live. This is the minimum living wage. So, a living wage is the minimum wage. The federal minimum living wage is seven twenty-five an hour currently. And you know here in uh, northwest Arkansas... Uh, you can probably live off that. Uh, Joel Smith kind of did some figuring, and if you had a roommate and didn't have any kids, and didn't have a drug habit or a drinking problem, or a smoking habit, um, then you could probably at least live off $8 an hour. Because you could... You rent a two-bedroom apartment for uh, 600 a month. So if you got a roommate, then that's 300 a month for each of you. Plus uh, um, utilities and say your phone bill, you're looking at basically 400 a month each of you. That's $100 a week. So... Say eight dollars an hour times forty hours, and yes, the living wage or the is based on a forty-hour work week. So, if you need to make a living wage and you need to work at least forty hours a week, and you need to produce at least at that level, otherwise they don't have to keep you, and you'd be up shit creek without a paddle. Live underneath the bridge. So, yeah, keep asking for a higher minimum living wage, and then you're just going to have to make yourself even smarter, work even harder. Otherwise, you're going to be 
without any kind of wage at all. But at eight dollars an hour, that's uh, and everywhere around here pretty much pays ten dollars an hour more. So figure. 400 a week, 100 of that goes to rent utilities and phone. You still got 300 a week. Uh, plenty of food pantries and churches around here giving out food, free food. You basically live off free food around here. There's so goddamn much of it. Joe so Smith's even been picking some up here and there to help out. Um... So, hundred bucks with the roommate at ten dollars an hour, uh, or four hundred a week. Hundred that goes towards your rent and utilities. Hundred goes towards uh, food, and say hundred goes to your toothpaste, shampoo, deodorant, soap, uh, dishwasher. Uh, the soap or whatever, laundry detergent. And that leaves you with, uh, or probably not even that much is going to go towards that. That plus maybe buying uh, some so socks and underwear, shirts, or a pair of pants now and then. But, but yeah, you can pretty much live off. With a roommate, at least, I uh, live off of uh, eight to ten dollars an hour around here. Now you might not be able to go out and buy a case of beer every night. You might not be able to buy a carton of cigarettes every day. You might not be able to buy a can of dip every day. You might not be able to drink a two liter Mountain Dew every day. You might not be able to go to the strip club every night. You might not be able to afford your dime bag or your eight ball. You might not be able to afford your thousand dollar Prada purse. You might not be able to afford your Air, Air Jordans, but you don't need a $800 purse to live. Now, keep your heart beating or your lungs breathing. That's called luxury. Same with shoes. You can get shoes for $15, $20, whatever, at Walmart. Phil Smith does. Has all his life. So Smith's lived on like five dollars an hour before. So don't know why everyone keeps making such hype about a living wage. Yeah, every wage out there is a living wage. Otherwise they wouldn't be able to offer it. The company is offering you a wage, it's a living wage. If it's at or above the state or federal minimum wage, you pay on the requirements or whatever, the number of employees and revenue and whatnot of the company, uh, it's a living wage. So, every job out there pays a living wage. So if you want a living wage, go apply for a job. It pays a living wage. You're still alive now, right? If you're listening to this, if you're still breathing, if your heart's still beating, you're still alive. And apparently you've been making a living wage. You've been living on unemployment, only making 200 bucks a week for the past three months. Well, 
apparently 200 bucks a week is still a living wage because you're still alive, aren't you? You're still living, right? So apparently that's a living wage, it's keeping you alive. You ain't died yet. Most don't remember uh, hearing of anyone dying in the last oh, 40 some years he's uh, Joe Smith here been alive because they didn't make enough money that year to feed themselves. So guess everyone's already making a living wage and guess all the companies are offering a living wage so um, you people out there that uh, you retards out there that keep asking if if uh, us companies can pay a living wage, uh, uh, yes, we're at uh, wage in the ad is a living wage. All of our employees are paid a living wage. Everyone in America is paid a living wage because they're all still alive. So quit fucking asking. It's getting annoying. And apparently, if you are asking, then you've been making a living wage. Joel Smith's had employees in the past where they were happy with 100 bucks a week. They literally work one hour a day, five days a week, or else they just work five hours one day. And see you next week. Because apparently $100 a week was a living wage for them. Where they could keep on living. And they did keep on living. And they came back the next week for another $100. And then they came back the next week for another $100. So, apparently even $100 a week is a living wage for some people to keep them living. And if that's all you need that to live, then yeah, come on here. Joe Smith gladly pay you hundred bucks a week to work. And that's it for tonight. Uh, thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate if you can. Uh, take care of your family first. Uh, it's been Joe Smith. Guess what you could say another little bedtime story here. Joe Smith signing out.